Hello and welcome to another video. So continuing on for the Wave 3 unboxing, this is Ventus Krakelios. This was one of the few that was actually completely brand new, I believe. We haven't seen any Krakelios yet, so having a completely new back on is awesome. Uh, if you have watched my last video, you know I picked all these up for about 15 Australian dollars, making them only about $10 US, which is very impressive for their price. Unfortunately, this does have another duplicate that we already have in it, similar to the last one where this one actually has Pyrus Dragonoid. So, that's a little disappointing, but not the end of the world. These three packs, unfortunately, do end up with some duplicates. Also, I've got all the Wave 1 three packs coming in, except for the Diamond. We've already covered one of them. I do have the other five that I have purchased that I'm just waiting to finish paying off completely because I have them on a lay-by system. So, we'll get right into this guy, start getting him open. Should be a fair bit of fun to use these, which is going to be great. I was really after one of these ones. The only other one was the Darkest Turdurum, which is... Another really cool one that I was after. So we've got all the cards, we'll look at those in a moment. And of course, the main guy himself that we're going to be taking a look at in a moment. We'll put him off to the side. So I do like to start with the cores. I think getting those done and out of the way is usually the best way to start a video. Because we get six cores in this. So we may just go straight into them. So the first one here is going to be a plus three green fist, which is... Honestly, not the worst possible Green Fist. It's very middle of the row as far as Green Fists go. We have a plus 50, plus 1. I don't like that Green Fist at all. Plus 50, plus 2 is um, pretty okay, but not great. A minus 2 Green Fist. We actually have a lot of Green Fists in this. And a plus 150, plus 4 Red Fist. This is actually not too bad at all. I don't mind him. And a plus 250 Shield, which I think, I'm not sure, I think 300 is the best you can get in in these Shields. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but 250 is actually pretty pretty middle of the row or pretty average as far as I think they go so now I've got to get these guys out in a minute which is going to be a lot of fun if you watched my last video you showed me struggle real bad getting out the uh, Mantanoid, Chaos Mantanoid as the core version just keep getting stuck in the packaging so I'm going to get these cards undone over here and get them all out which will be a lot of fun so we have the instructions including of course how we fold this guy up I may need these in a minute because I don't think this guy is going to be Super easy to do. Starting us off, Crocellius Ultra. So I thought it was a spider, it's actually a squid. My completely my mistake. It's just it's the way its design was led by looking at the packaging. I didn't really ever really look him up. He is a 602, so that's okay. Double green fist. I'd like to see his Evos, maybe that would be nice. We are opening course international versions, which is why we don't have anything crazy. Uh, then we actually have Serpentes Aurelis. This is actually really cool. Um, I like Serpentes as its design. I've got uh, the Ultra and I've got another couple on, of course, the Lay-By from the three packs. So that'll be really cool. And his is a 307 damage. So that's not too bad either, to be honest. Then we have the Dragonoid. So we've already seen Dragonoid. We've already got Dragonoid. Not too impressive to have an extra one. But I'm hoping this one doesn't have the defect my other one has, which would make life a lot better. Uh, then we have, here we go, Dragon's Fury, which is a very generic card, I think. It is a plus four fist. Then we have Tidal Wave, plus seven for four. And we have Recycling Boost. I don't know if I've seen this card before, actually. That's a very interesting one. Let me take a quick look at that. Yeah, it is still from a uh, from Battle Brawler set, which is the first set of cards. don't know if I've seen this one before myself, but... Plus, it's a minus 200 beat. If you have the most energy cards in play, return this to your hand. So it's okay. It's a recyclable one, as as it mentions. So we are going to get right into this and try and get these things out. I think it's always the bottom one I have trouble with. The top one is usually actually very easy to get out. The bottom one is usually one I struggle with. But that come out all right. And it does look like this one doesn't have... No, it doesn't look like it has the defect. The defect that these Dragonoids, all Dragonoids, can have uh, that I've seen so far is that the horn doesn't close in properly and sometimes they do that and pop open too easy so if we close this guy up we'll see how it is i believe uh the the fix for this is to of course have a better tail but it looks like this one is okay at least compared to my other one which is really bad for sticking out if i had it right on hand here and wasn't in another room i'd grab it for you guys to take a look at but not too much to look at now we'll get this uh, serpentine out i don't actually have any core serpentines i've only got the ultra so this is going to be a brand new one to take a quick look at. So we might take a good look. And I actually really like Serpentis' design when he's in core compared to his Ultra. I think it's much cooler as far as it goes for looking like a flying bat beast thing. Like, his, his Ultra's cool, but 
I think this one's just so much nicer for its design with the, even his little uh, little tail here that, that works on him. So really not bad. I really love the, the work that Batgun puts into these and Spin Master, sorry, puts into these. So he does just very easily fold up too. So that's great. We'll put him off to the side as well before we get into the main event, which is going to be Coppelios. Obviously this is a squid type tobacco gun, I think. So I don't think they've locked him in anywhere, taking a look at this. Not like uh, Fangzor, so we should just be able to kind of uh, whoop, work him out. I don't want to snap any pieces because he is quite a delicate one. Wow, that actually sounds really funny when I'm trying to pull him out of there. Maybe because there's so much detailed plastic around him. All right, there we go. Got him out. Not too much hassle, but he is definitely interesting. So, thinking about his design in the card, he should go up this way. Something like this, I think. So, this is actually really awesome. His design is actually now probably one of my favorites for cool factor. As far as they go, I like a lot of designs, but for cool factor, this one's got one of the really awesome designs on him and he's got some really cool moving parts here which is going to be very interesting for me to put away in a minute so we might just put him up here a second while I take a quick sneak peek at the booklet here as I think he could be I don't think he's in really hard I think he's kind of uh, middle of the road also I think this is a new checklist I may have to compare it to my old one but so this is how we fold him up it doesn't look too difficult and I I can't remember what the packaging says. He is a level one, apparently. So he actually shouldn't be that hard to do up. I just want to double check that I'm not going to completely screw him over. And by the looks of it, it's not impossible here. So let's see. Uh, if I'm doing this right, those things are first. Um, then we want to go for the head. So you go the little pieces in, then we go the head down and in, which I guess kind of clips there. <laughs> guess those guys kind of come up uh, and these guys come up yeah there we go so yeah he was actually not too bad he looks like a, he does look kind of like a little watermelon to be honest which is actually really awesome and I think his magnet is actually back there which doesn't surprise me too much considering his design so let's see if that's it yeah that's definitely the magnet on top there all right so we're gonna pop him open oh <laughs> So yeah, so he's designed to pop open and roll into the top form like this, which is really, really cool, to be honest. I can't fault how cool that design is. So again, a little disappointing when you get duplicates, as it always is going to be, but these duplicates are actually some of my favorites, at least Dragonoid is, and I'm really glad that this Dragonoid does seem to be better than my last one. I think I'll definitely swap him out in the, in the deck that's using him right now. So that'll be really cool. And if you guys haven't, I recommend keeping an eye out because we are going to have a lot of game videos. We've had a lot of product videos and we've got a lot more to come yet. We've got uh, card card collection openings that I have to pick up to be able to do those. I've got those five three packs that we're going to have an individual video for each one of those as well. Then we're also going to have game videos and a few deck profiles of decks that we've been working on and messing around with. By the time all those videos are actually done, guys, I'm hoping the next set of cards will be out here in Australia since we, of course, don't have them yet. We've only just got some of this Wave 3 stuff, which we're not 100% sure was actually meant to come out yet, but has, so that's really cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, guys, see ya.